Hello everyone. So in this course, we will be talking about AWS command line interface or CLI. So um, as told in the AWS website, uh, command line interface documentation, uh, which you can find in this, um, this page, um, AWS command line interface is a unified tool to manage your AWS services. With just one tool to download and configure, you can control multiple AWS services from the command line and automate them through scripts. So, um, you know, it's just another way, another tool uh, that we are given by AWS and the ability to script uh, out uh, your resources through the command line is a very uh, useful tool to have for any developer or an architect. Um, so, the f I, I, I say this is the fourth way because um, obviously we have been, uh, you know, you guys are probably familiar with the console way of launching an EC2 instance or, uh, you know, creating a VPC subnet, that kind of stuff. So, um, SDKs like Boto3 in Python can be used to create and destroy resources as well. Uh, you import some modules or the, um, and, you know uh, or you can talk to the uh, talk to the resources through the SDKs through programming languages like Python Java JavaScript you can also use cloud formation templates to um, have uh, you know just create f uh, stacks you can create stacks of resources you know you can create VPCs that has um, subnets, uh, security groups, um, internet gateway, um, and I have a video on that um, if you want to check it out. Um, so command line interface is the fourth way and with this what you can do is you can use the command line to do all that things the other way. You know? So if you prefer the command line then this is a, a course for you. Um, so it's really easy to get started. We will be uh, demonstrating how to install the AWS CLI in the next video and we'll look into uh, installing it for Windows, Mac and Linux. And we'll also have another way of using AWS uh, EC2 instance to use the CLI. All right, so I will see you in the next video. All right, so we are going to get started with uh, installing um, the AWS CLI tool on a Mac, on a Mac, I'm currently using a Mac. So as you can see on the documentation page, it's simple as, you know, using this command and installing the AWS CLI. Pip install AWS CLI. And by the way, this is also for Linux. So Mac and Linux. Um, you can install the AWS CLI through um, through pip and we, we are assuming that you have Python uh, installed already on your machine so to do that what we sh what we will do is um, come to the command line uh, so come you to a terminal and sudo pip install AWS CLI and for me I already have that installed so it says requirement already satisfied but you should be if you haven't uh, installed it already then you should have um, if you type in AWS um, then you should see some kind of um, uh, error like this asking you to enter something right too few arguments or something like that. Okay, so the next step would be at this point. Uh, now this works for Pi, uh, Mac and Linux. So at this point, what we'll do is we'll do AWS configure enter, and it will ask me for the access key ID, um, which I put in here. So if I already put it put mine in here. So if I were to put uh, a new access key. Uh, if, if if yours was empty I would say something 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 
uh, we'll look into how to create an access key app after this lesson but we will uh, enter our access keys enter our secret key uh, enter a default region name us east one or whichever is the default uh, wh whichever region you work out of uh, enter and now this is a cool thing uh, default output format uh, usually if you don't say anything then JSON will be your default output format but I really like work you know seeing the the things uh, you know nice and uh, ordered uh, style so I use table right so I could put table here or I could say JSON or I could say text here or you could leave it empty and you would see your uh, output in JSON so for now let's um, let's put uh, enter uh, I have which will set mine to table because I have table set up already and this is how you set up the AWS CLI so I'm just gonna say AWS um, now this is a test command you don't need to um, you don't need to we'll come back to this later but I'm gonna say AWS um, S3 LS and there's all my S3 buckets alright so let's do uh, one for Windows we covered uh, how to install the AWS CLI on a Mac and a Linux machine. Now we'll, um, if you, you can move on to the next one. You can skip the Windows if you're, if you don't uh, use Windows or if you do, then uh, please check out the Windows installation guide and we'll move on to doing some really cool stuff. Thanks for watching. All right, so this, uh, video will guide you to uh, install how to install the command line interface on your Windows machine um, we already covered Mac and Linux which is as simple as this now we'll, um, for Windows you need to download and run the uh, this is one of the ways to do it on Windows we're, we're going to run a 34 32 or 64 bit installer I just downloaded the 64 bit for my computer uh, it's right here so uh, simple as clicking on here and it will download this file I'll open this next accept next next install and there are other methods of um, installing uh, the CLI in Windows as well I find this is the easiest one and it should be done anytime now all right so finish and we should uh, if I go to my command prompt There you go. So, um, so AWS configure. So if you type in this, then this is where we will put our access key ID. Um, enter your secret access key ID. I mean, access key default reason East one or whatever reason you work from, and the output format. You can either put JSON table or text. I like using tables because it's really nice to look at the output and everything uh, but JSON is the default if I don't do anything it's gonna be JSON so uh, in the next video we will uh, see how to generate the access key ID and uh, secret access key that's a required part of um, uh, of this configuration um, and you know you, you have to enter the region otherwise you will have to uh, enter the region every time you hit a command which is not so efficient um, uh, so you know let's get started with creating the access key and see, uh, secret access on the next video thanks for watching okay so we will uh, start creating our user and generating access uh, key ID and secret access key for that user and we need to go to IAM to do that and if we click on users 
I'm going to add a user and the username who I'll say AWS CLI user and I want to give the user an access type of programmatic access and uh, this will give me an access key ID and secret access key that I will paste on that AWS configure command later on. So I'm going to say programmatic access. I don't need this for now. I'm going to skip this next. And um, since we will be doing a lot of things with this with this key, I'm going to give this uh, uh, we give this. Uh, uh, and admin access. Okay, so if I say attach existing policies directly, I can give uh, admin access to this. Now, if you don't want to give admin access, you can individually pick the um, access uh, on certain resources. Like I could say, um, I want to give this user access to my S3 bucket, my EC2 uh, instances, that kind of stuff. But admin access will you know, make it easy for me to access all the resources. Um, so I'm gonna choose this and say next review, uh, create user. All right. And one thing, one thing to remember is if you're handing out, uh, uh, you know, if uh, user accounts to other people, make sure you don't want to give the admin access to them because that will make them able to do a lot more things so almost everything so you don't want to give your access um, uh, root uh, admin access to other people this is for yourself and um, so when we do this a success will show a success message will show up and I will have uh, my access key and secret access now this is only one time thing you cannot view your access key ID and secret access key after this window so I can either show the access key here but I can also download the CSV file I'm gonna download the CSV file and I'm gonna close this okay so open okay so this is my um, my access key and secret access key that I'll be using for this credin uh, for this tutorial. Um, now, what I will do is I'll go back and I'll say AWS configure, right? So, in place of this access key ID, I'll put in whatever is in in this this you know that starts with AK, and when when I do that. Uh, whatever is in the secret key access key uh, on here so starting with EJ I'll put in here and region will be the region that I want to work on so once again US East 1 or US East 2 US West 1 2 Southeast you know anything you want to work with and default output I will do table you can do JSON or text or just not enter anything and you'll be given the default option all right, so once you do this, you should have your AWS um, uh, configuration done for you, and we can start doing a lot of things. So we'll do that in the next video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.